What's going on, everybody? It's Mighty Manos. We're back with my bro DK up in the corner. Hello! <laughs> and we're uh, still talking about some E3 predictions. Uh, today we're talking about Nintendo. Oh, yeah. And uh, what we expect to see from them. What, 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 what do they call their thing? Oh God! Because um, they don't because they don't do a press conference. It's it's like a little meeting, and it's like at least last year it was really awkward. Like it was on like a Reggie was on like a little tiny stage. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, uh, it doesn't know. say. But but they're yeah. So anyway, so they're not doing a press conference. Right. They're going to be having some kind of it's like a streaming in, event. Yeah, it's like an informal stream kind of thing, yeah. just because I guess they don't want to spend the big, huge bucks <laughs> on a giant conference, which right. makes sense. Yeah, sure, them, sure. Honestly. I mean, yeah, um, they haven't that, been doing particularly well as of late, so any chance yeah. to save a chunk of money is a is a good sure. thing. So, in terms of uh, what we expect to see from them, it's a pretty pretty significantly shorter list than for Sony or Microsoft. Yeah, which is normal. Oh yeah, and a lot of that is because Nintendo only base, excuse me, basically only ever has their first party stuff. Right. Yeah. Third party their people third party traditionally support is yeah, it's, none. it's yeah negligible at best. Um, yeah. in, in addition to their streaming event, they're also hosting a Super Smash Bros. Invitational Tournament, uh, right. which takes place yeah. during E3, and that's at the Nokia Theater. Um, and they're going to be streaming at you know, different times throughout the E3 week. It's not like a it's not just one press conference like uh, Sony and Microsoft have. You know, they're doing several small events throughout the week. Okay. Um, so I guess, I mean, that's a per- per- perfect place to start that. Yeah. Smash. Smash is going to be there for sure. Right. Um, that's obvious now. It's going to be playable. Um, do you th- they've been, you know, typically what they do with this, they slowly reveal more and more characters. So I'd imagine they're going to reveal another character or two yeah. during E3. For sure. Um, I, it prob- I mean, I, I don't even honestly know the full list of who they've re- re- revealed so far. No. But uh, it's probably some. They'll probably have some kind of character <laughs> you'd expect, and then one that you wouldn't expect. That's how I would do it at <laughs> yeah. least. Um, but yeah, I mean, we'll see, I'm, obviously we'll see that there. That'll be playable, which that's that's cool that people will be able to get hands on with that game. That's definitely since the Wii U launch. That's one of the games that's been most looked forward to. Right. Ultimate Smash. It's typically one of their better franchises. Um, I just personally, like, I love Smash. I played the crap out of Melee with my friends in high school, and we played a good amount of, uh, what was it, Brawl? Yeah, yeah Brawl. Brawl. We played on a the good amount of Wii. Brawl. That, it didn't click with us as much because there wasn't that nostalgic attachment to it. Right. Um, but they're always solid games. They're really fun couch co-op games to play. And now that the Wii U has semi-capable online capabilities, <laughs> I'm sure you'll be able to play... Uh, their new game online. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, I don't care. <laughs> like, I don't, I'm so burnt out on the Super Smash Bros. thing. Um, I, like, I don't know. Uh, it's too. It's the same thing. It is the same thing. It totally is. It totally is. But uh, I think for for a lot of people, somewhat with me included, that's enough. New characters, new maps, that's enough. Like, it's just a fun game to play. It doesn't need to change it up that much. Yeah, but I, I just honestly. feel like, you know, as much as we were, uh, you know, dogging Call of Duty and Gears of War and God of War for being formulaic and stuff, I've, this is even more so than any of those, I feel. But on the other side of that, though, Call of Duty is an every year game. It's true. It's Very been, true. It's been what four or five it's years true. It's, since it's, Brawl? they do want a generation that's true yeah and and so there i mean i'm okay with little changes and just new characters and new levels and it's going to look prettier and i'm sure the gameplay will be just that smidgen bit tighter yeah that's okay i think I, i'm with you that it's not i mean it obviously isn't enough for me to go buy a console no uh, if no. they did something crazy different and it was awesome that might be enough but uh yeah i, I mean it those kinds of games, because they're experiences that I've generally already had, it's not enough for me to go out and spend, you know, four hundred bucks on a console and a game, and you know, a couple other games. Right. And really, I mean, that kind of leads into uh, Mario Kart Eight as well. It's kind of the same thing where yeah. th- that game looks great. 
I'm sure it's going to be fantastic. Yeah, sure it's so far one, one of the better playing games to come yeah, out. Yeah, so far but, people are saying it's the best. So yeah, the best Mario Kart. But it's still Mario Kart. Right. Like you, you do a little bit like hover bike, whatever. But that's not enough, man. Like I played the crap out of Mario Kart 64. Played the crap out of Mario Kart 7. Double dash. I haven't, yeah, double. Oh, yeah, man. even more. So much double, even dash. More double dash. <laughs> but uh, I just Mario Kart 8. That's just there's not enough there to warrant me buying a new console. And that's a big problem with Nintendo in general. There's not enough new IP coming out of them. There's not enough big changes. Yeah. They do, like in the Zelda games, they'll totally switch it up. But they put one of those out every four to five years. That's not enough. You can't One Zelda game a generation is not enough of a reason to buy a console no. in, in this day and age. When a console like a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One gives you so much more right. for your money. Right. Um, um, speaking of new IPs, uh, Miyamoto... Um, he has announced that he's working on a brand new IP. Uh, yeah. Don't know what it is. So that could be the clincher for Nintendo at this E3. That would be a really cool thing for them to be able to it show. Would be like, huge. hey, because everything else is going to be, hey, here are new games in these well worn franchises with characters that you've been seeing for 30 years. Yeah. And bam, one of the all time greatest. Game developers is making a totally brand new thing. Yeah, that would be pretty neat. I agree. That, I mean, that would certainly get someone like me excited and sure. people that have been kind of down on Nintendo the past several years. That would be a pretty nice feather in their cap. I would. Think. Oh, absolutely. I, I that get could be a lifesaver for them. I think. Yeah. Um, um, but going back to their well-worn franchises, which is pretty much everything else. <laughs> um, I mean, we already know they have a new Zelda game in the works. They teased it a little bit. I won't be surprised to see more of that this year, see some gameplay from it. Yeah. Um, by all accounts, it looks gorgeous. Um, I'm sure it'll be a solid game. But again, it's just, you know, it's another Zelda game. And they all have offered significantly different experiences from the last game, but you're still a dude in a green hat chasing after a pink princess. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it is. Uh. Um, and then Mario... Uh, I won't be surprised to see some kind of Mario game. A lot of people have been asking for uh, Super Mario Galaxy 3, yeah. which, as a non-Wii owner, I would be kind of bummed, honestly, if they revealed that, because Super Mario Galaxy 1 is one of my favorite games of all time. That yeah. That freaking amazing. <laughs> and Galaxy 2 was really, really great as well. Yeah. Didn't click with me as much, because, again, a lot of it, it was the same kind of thing, just a little bit different. Sure. Um, and your first experience is always your best. Yeah. Uh, Usually, but um, I, again, I would love to see a Mario game that is totally different. Um, like wh- how when you when they released you know Mario sixty four, yeah, like, made an RPG. It was, it was like whoa, it's this character that you know and these kind of enemies that you know and a general kind of world that you've seen before, but totally new game mechanics. Yeah. I'd love to see them try something risky with that. And really, Super Mario Galaxy did that too with the kind of three D yeah, aspect Absolutely. of it. Absolutely, like that was a totally new take on Mario, yeah. and not just hey. Here's it's 3D, but it's a side scroller, right? Like new Super who cares? Mario. Was. Yeah, like I, which was by all accounts a solid game, but who cares? It's the same thing we've been seeing since like 1987. Yeah, <laughs> like it's the same game. Yeah. Um. Uh. What else? Uh. They have a uh, Hyrule Warriors. Right. Which is. Uh, I mean, I'll play that, it. It's like a, I'll get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, y- sure. you have a Wii. U. I do. I keep forgetting you have. Yeah, one I do. Because how many times have you turned it on in the last three months? <laughs> Not once. Not a single time. It's in a box. Yeah. But that, for people that don't know, it's uh, like a Dynasty Warriors style game, like a hack and slash, a million enemies, but you play as Link. Right. So that, that's a fun, kind of dumb game. Yeah. Um, that's not going to sell any units, like sell any consoles, no, I say. No, 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 no. Yeah. Um, well, you know, um, whatever this new IP is, I think that's going to have to be the system seller for them. Yeah, I mean, in addition to a game like Mario Kart 8, a new Zelda, the yeah, kind of games that yeah. people people that own Nintendo consoles buy these Nintendo consoles for a new Mario, for a new Mario Kart, for Smash, for Zelda. Right. A new IP kind of game will do two things. It'll give those people an additional reason to buy a console, and it might bring in people like me who those old games aren't enough anymore. Right. They need something new, and that you know that new Miyamoto game could be that. Yeah. If it's good, <laughs> there's you, no no guarantee. I don't that know. It would be any it's good. Miyamoto though, like yeah, yeah. I would. Oh, so many people would just die of sadness if it wasn't good. Um, yeah. 
there's there's a few a few rumors uh, of upcoming Nintendo news. I don't know if they'll make an appearance at E3 or not. But supposedly GameCube games are coming to the Wii U Virtual Console, and SNES games are supposedly coming to the 3DS Virtual Console. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, possibly Wii U games capable of using two game pads at once on the same system. Um, oh, I had not heard about that. Yeah, that that's a that's a rumor floating around. Um, I'm at- I I don't I don't see like I could see them doing that, but I don't see that as a good idea. No? So many people already don't really care about the gamepad and would rather use a regular controller. And the gamepads are so damn expensive. They are. Do you expect people to go buy another one? Aren't they like a hundred bucks? Well, see, here's the thing: is you know, two Wii U owners, you could bring your gamepad with you to your friends to play. That's fair. Stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I guess. But who that has a Wii U knows anyone else that has a Wii U. I know I don't. <laughs> I don't know a single other person that owns a Wii U. I don't. Yeah. It's yeah. That's sad. Uh, <laughs> um, Metroid Wii U is uh, has been teased. Uh, people are saying um, apparently Samus's gunship was in Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Um, is on in the Bayou level, uh, and during the Cranky Kong reveal video, Reggie was wearing a Metroid pin on his lapel. There have been a couple of little Metroid Easter egg things um, coming out of Nintendo recently. So a Metroid Wii U. Might not be out of the question. And these, I mean, these, we're kind of getting into more just kind of wish list games. Yeah, well, because like, n- Nintendo's really been... always played stuff close to the chest. Uh, they That's don't make true. huge announcements outside of conference stuff, typically. Um, yeah. So, I mean, it's, you know, going into it, I kind of figured most of this stuff is going to be rumor-based. Um, the only real solid lead that we have is that Smash Bros. is playable. <laughs> That's the only thing people really know about what Nintendo's yeah. doing this year. Um, and then it really beyond that, it kind of comes down to franchises that we know about that maybe they're making a new exactly, game. Exactly, exactly. Like you know, there maybe there's a new F Zero game. Maybe there's a new Earthbound game. Yeah. Maybe there's a new Donkey Kong game. That one's probably a pretty safe bet, or like a new 3DS Donkey Kong game, yeah. something like that. I know that you had uh, mentioned earlier, like a new Luigi game. Yeah, there, there could be like a new Luigi's Mansion game. Um, there'll probably be more details on the Yarn Yoshi game. Um, That's right. Uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn. I love. Yeah, it. yeah. I know, I know you really like that. It was really easy. It was kind of kitty, yeah. but it was beautiful. Man. Yeah, just I loved play. playing that game. And you know, another game set in that kind of an environment and uh, you know, th- uh, theme yeah, they, wise is never. They've bad already thing. they've already you know built all the graphics engines. Right. Stuff, so how hard is it to just put Yoshi into that world? <laughs> Can't be very difficult. <laughs> um, oh, that, that's right. Uh, that game they've been teasing for a while now. Uh, it's just called X, uh, Monolith Soft. Yes, yeah, Monolith. Yeah. Maybe we'll see some more of that this year. I'd really like to. Uh-huh. Um, like yeah, to that's, that's an example of like a new IP kind of game. Yeah. Or I guess, I mean, it's not totally a new IP because it's supposed to be sort of like a off of Xenogears. Yeah. And um, what was that other? Uh, the one that was on Wii. Um, After I sold my Wii, that it made me really bummed because I wanted to play it. Crap. Because it's, one of, it's yeah. one of like the... The best Wii games, and it's really tough to find. Um, yeah, they didn't. Yeah. They ported it to America, but they didn't make a whole bunch of copies. Xenoblade right. Chronicles. There yes, it is. Xenoblade Chronicles. Yep. Um, yep. Yeah, it's supposed to tie into that. Um, we'll probably see some more information on Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Pokemon games, the remakes for uh-huh. the 3DS. Um, probably see some more information on those. Probably more on like a Bayonetta two. Yeah, definitely. I would say Bay- Bayonetta two because that's. What other third-party games do they have on yeah, that console? Yeah, they, they need to make some sort of a representation, some sort of a, a presence for third-party developers, and I think Bayonetta is really one of the only ones. Yeah. Um, is that it? I mean, what, what, there are a couple other wish list ones, like the beyond the uh, Metroid one. Um, like uh, a lot of people have been clamoring for like a new Star Fox. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, that's something that we haven't seen for a really long time, no. like a straight up. Flying Star Fox game, yeah, um, or even even a game up like a Pokemon game on the Wii U. Yeah, I, I, I would like, like another the the last Pokemon game on console. You know, they they had those like stupid little like Pokemon toy games where yeah, it was uh, Pokemon Rumble Blast crap like that. Um, but like an actual Pokemon game where you catch Pokemon is Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness on the GameCube, and before that it was Pokemon Coliseum was the prequel. Um, mm-hmm. 
And those weren't even necessarily traditional Pokemon because you caught, like, the dark Pokemon and you had to, like, free their souls or whatever kind of crap. Yeah. You had to, like, purify them. And you, you actually caught them from other trainers. Um, yeah, it was real weird and stupid. Um, <laughs> I, I would love, love, love. I've always thought it would be an awesome idea for a Pokemon game where you run around with the trainer and during the battle you actually play as the Pokemon. Like, it just opens up an arena-based area of the environment you're where in. Where you still have the moves. Yeah, sets. you still have the... You have four moves that you map to four buttons um, and you can run around as the Pokemon. Different Pokemon play and animate differently. They can dodge, crap like that. Um, I think that'd be awesome. This is a pure speculation. No, there's not even a rumor of this, but yeah, that's what I want to see. I want to see that kind of a game. Um, totally, and they'd be really cool. But you know, I'll take whatever Pokemon I can get. I don't care anymore. I'll, I'll absolutely. Buy it. I mean, whatever. I don't have a. I don't have a three three DS. There's no real reason for me to buy one. Yeah. I don't like. I can't. I don't ride the bus. I don't do anything like that where I need a handheld console. Right. And when I'm at home, if I want to play games, I want to play it on my big screen TV yeah. or my computer. So there's n- nothing is going to make me buy a 3DS. Right. But for people that have them, a new Pokemon game, like if I had one, I'd be totally excited about yeah. it. Honestly, I could never have enough. Well, I can't say that. <laughs> I could almost never have enough Pokemon games. Yep. Even if they put one out every year. Which enough. they've been doing. Well, yeah, I guess they kind of have yeah. in, in terms of remakes and new ones. Yeah. Pokemon is just as far down the rabbit hole as they went with a lot of really kind of g- bad character designs. Yeah, and like they, the mega evolutions from the latest entries. Yeah, yeah. But, but some, some, of those, some of them were cool, though. Yeah, but... They, I'm talking more about like yeah. the ice cream Pokemon <laughs> and like Love Disc, who was that like heart-shaped fish. Yeah. Like. You gotta love Gulpin, though, man. You gotta love Gulpin. <laughs> He's my man. And Bidoof? Bidoof is yeah. the shit. <laughs> Bidoof. Uh. <laughs> yeah, so... I, I Really, of all of those... Kind of the Pokemon game would be the most exciting to me. <laughs> Even though you can't play it. Yeah, I guess you can't play Ruby any and, of them, Ruby really. and Sapphire were some of my... Besides the, the original Yeah, Ruby and Pokemon Sapphire games, are my favorite. Ruby and Sapphire were my favorite. Yeah, I think... Yeah. In, I, I was thinking about why Ruby and Sapphire are my, my favorite Pokemon uh, uh, games to play. And I think... I, I came... Uh, I, I came to the conclusion that it's the color saturation... Um, like everything is so vibrant in that game, and it was one of the first times I had seen a game that was that crisp on on, yeah. on a system because it was it was a full like that. color. Yeah, it was, that was GBA. It was like a full color, yeah. game. and it, it was the first game I got with my Game Boy Advanced SP. Uh, I popped in Pokemon Ruby, and it was just the vibrant colors. Environments were crisp. It had the cool like, which they have never done since. Um, have like that little secret base you can buy furniture for and stuff. Uh-huh. Uh, it was like a cool. You could like go visit other people's secret bases. Just the environments were awesome. They had rain and you saw your reflection in the water. And they, and they had, uh, I think, was that the game that introduced double battles? I think that was the first. That sounds. Or right. was that? Or was that? Um, Diamond and Pearl. Diamond and Pearl. Yeah, Diamond and Pearl. Right. Diamond and Pearl and Platinum were the three. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't remember for sure. I feel like there was double battles in that one. But anyways, uh, and they had like, they had some cool Pokemon like designs and stuff. And yeah, mm-hmm. I think that's that's why you know the, those myriad of reasons are why that, that's my favorite. But I think it really boils down to the color saturation. And yeah, and, and, and being able to go back to that with kind of upres graphics and stuff would be awesome. But it's not gonna be that it's gonna be that the new 3d engine of pokemon x and y where it there, it is a 3d environment that you're running around in and there's like weird there's like cutscenes, and they're making mega evolutions for oh. some of the old pokemon now because they want to keep mm. that in yeah i don't know how i feel about it honestly i really don't um yeah. well i that's why i hope they show us some of it at yeah so you'll, stream. so you'll know so whether I'll or not whether, whether, yeah exactly so i know whether or not yeah. i want to go do that or i just want to play it on my sp still right yeah um well unless you had anything else uh, i think that's it um last thing that um has been kind of teased is nintendo's new um kind of competitor for like the disney infinity games and the spy uh, the skylanders games yeah. that they're gonna have some kind of toy based game where you actually go out and buy little figures that you put on like 
a device that m- puts them into a game. Um, that idea for games doesn't appeal to me at all. But yeah, because well, it's Skylanders, the, it's the money Skylanders sink. and Disney Infinity have sold like friggin' hotcakes, man. They've man. both those companies have made so much money from those. So I'm not surprised at all to see Nintendo get in on that. They have so many family friendly figurehead characters. Yeah. Like all the Mario characters and even like characters like Samus and Star Fox and stuff like that that they could easily put into a game like oh, that yeah. and tell kids, you know, annoy the shit out of your parents until they buy you this fifteen dollar <laughs> tiny little one inch figure. Yep. Um so not surprised to see them get in on that. Hopefully that'll make them some money so they can invest more into better games. Yep. I'm all right with it. So, yeah. Uh, that's kind of all I really have for Nintendo. Yeah. Not as much just because they don't, one, they don't have that third-party support, and two, they're not having a big press conference, so they're not going to have as much to show. Right. It's really just, there's, you know, four or five games that we know we're going to see for sure from the first party, and then a bunch of wish lists. Like, especially, like, for me, Star Fox would be the biggest one yeah. of cool old franchises that I'd like to see come back in a major way. I agree. Um, But Metroid would be awesome. Even like an F-Zero style racing game would be awesome. So hopefully we'll see something like that just to get Nintendo back on form. I know, I just feel like they're they're just on a rapidly increasing slide downwards. And I don't want to see that. No, nobody wants to see that. Literally nobody wants to see Nintendo fail. Unless they went into strict software development and you got Mario games on Sony and Microsoft platforms. That'll be a weird time, man. That would be very weird. But I'd be okay with it because then I well, would have a, I'd be able to that's play That's true. It. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty so. true. Yeah. Um, you know, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we got videos for Sony and Microsoft as well. Yep. The next one we're going to be talking about the EA and Ubisoft specific press conferences in addition to other third-party games that we won't be surprised to see, Mm -hmm. and maybe some wishlist games on there as well. So uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.